Greetings everyone. As promised, I am about to give to you uh, a recipe, some food for thought. Today we're going to deal with a beverage that's good for the tummy, lots of healthy nutritional properties to it, and that is a lime and ginger drink. And we're going to make a lime and ginger juice. So, let's get started. First thing we do is um, we wash the ginger root, wash it thoroughly, and we can break it into parts. And we chop the ginger root into chunks, like so. Small chunks, uh, no more than about a half inch thick and an inch long at most. But if you chop it smaller, that's fine because we're going to put these chunks into the blender. So, now that I got a few ginger root chunks sliced up, and typically to make, let's say, about a gallon size, um, gallon size bottle, we would use about, let's say, three quarters to a quarter pound of ginger root. I like my ginger strong. Now, I'll add these to my blender. And I'll fill the blender at least halfway with some water. So, I have a jug of water here. And we'll uh, fill this halfway. Mm -hmm. Basically covering the ginger. The ginger submerged. Put the top back on. And we'll blend. And I'd say you blend for at least about a minute to a minute and a half at least. If you want to go two minutes, that's fine. We're going to turn it more or less into a puree. So, as it blends, like I said, for at least a minute, a minute and a half. And when we finish blending, we extract the juice, but we we save the puree. And what I have here is a nice little sifter. Mm -hmm. And we drain the juice. Very good, very good. I drain it into a separate pitcher, a pitcher that's wide enough for me to put the strainer on top of so that we don't lose any on the sides. And we repeat this process at least three times. So each time you repeat the process, you'll notice that the ginger root gets finer and finer. So, I'll add some more water. Like I said, about halfway. And we repeat the process for about a minute to a minute and a half. Now, for the sake of time, I'll be blending a little less than time recommended. But you get the idea. So, repeat 
repeat the process. We use our strainer and pour. You start to notice that the ginger root becomes a little finer. And once again, after we squeeze the juice out into the pitcher, we repeat the process one more time. So, after the third time, we don't throw away what we strained. And if you notice, what we strain has become fine like, a, like oatmeal or grits. Mm -hmm. We save that because we're going to use that a little later to make some tea, ginger tea. So now that we got that put to the side, we'll take a pitcher. This is a gallon sized pitcher. For every basically one pound of ginger, I'll use a, you know, per gallon, but you may use a smaller container, okay? You just lessen the load. Now, as it relates to the lime, for a gallon-sized pitcher, what I would do is use about, let's say, six to eight limes, depending on the size. Now, if you got a squeezer, that will help, because lime is very, very, uh, hard so what we do to maximize the juice that we get from the line we roll and press roll and press roll and press roll and press all the way and press roll and press now that ought to make it a little more juicy and when we cut the line in half we don't cut from the where the stem was or the tail. No, you cut in the middle of the belly. Why? When we squeeze it, we'll maximize the juice we get. So in this case, I will use my little fruit juicer and I will squeeze the juice into a cup. And repeat the process for all of the limes, like I said, for a gallon sized bottle, you may want about six to eight limes, depending on size. You can add more if you like, because it's also according to taste and strength. After all, lime is, lime is a good thing. I've even heard a song saying they put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. That's another subject. Now, what you can do to maximize the juice, depending on the size of your little hand fruit squeezer, I'll stack them and squeeze slowly, not just to maximize the juice I'm getting, but to extract some of that nutritious lime oil from the skin. Mm -hmm. So, after doing this several times, like I said, six or eight lime, we would put that in our container along with Our ginger. Now, if you have a funnel, that'll help you save time. If you don't have a funnel, you can make your own funnel. You can take that soda bottle, make it small, cut around it, make your own funnel. Anyway, so I'll put the funnel in here and I'll pour the juice. got a little narrow in so it took a little longer for it to get in there but it's in there and like I said you repeat that process several times and you may not come completely to the top you just add water okay in this case we're about half full but we were supposed to repeat that process at least three times and it'll probably take us right about here so with that said and we add all of the line it's ready 
Always shake it up well though because some of the ginger pulp will settle at the bottom. So before you drink, shake well. And it gets stronger overnight, okay? So that's, that's um, basically how you make it. Now, you know, for those of you that like it a little sweet, you know, add a little sugar. I, you know, kind of prefer raw, uh, unbleached uh, sugar. You can find that in many of your stores. Uh, you can use honey if you like. Um, but that's pretty much it on how you make ginger. My next episode, I'll show you what we do with the scraps to make some ginger lime tea. Have a good one. Food for thought.